What did your parents do for a living? My dad, when I was growing up, he was a barber and a nurse. I'm saying it like he don't do that. He still do that, but that's what he was doing. Um, he was an LVN and a barber. He is now an RN and a barber. My mom, she was working at Baylor for a long time. And then when I got to high school, she started working for an accounting firm. Yeah. And did your parents want you to follow any of those footsteps, any of those fields for you? Did they see that for you? My dad wanted me to be a nurse. Like he swore that was like the job and that's what I went to school for. But I didn't really want to do that. So, I mean, that's why I rap now because rap is what I wanted to do. But he did think that I was going to be a nurse. How did he feel about that? About you not You not continuing on with that? You making the decision not to continue on with being a nurse? Oh, he was cool with it. He was just satisfied that I tried it, you know? So he just wanted me to try it to see if that's something I liked. And I was just like, nah. So he was cool about it. Now, in the American society, people do get placed in financial classes. Yeah. Poor, lower middle, middle class, mm -hmm. upper middle, rich. What class did you fall in growing up? So what's the options again? <laughs> Sorry, poor, lower middle class, middle class, upper middle class, rich. Middle class. Was your family ever able to move up higher than middle class at some point as you grew up? Or did it pretty much just stay middle? No, it definitely went to higher middle class. When I was like maybe ninth grade, that's when stuff started to kind of like, you know, go up. And what do you think caused that? Just... Time, you know, because over time you can do a lot. Um, over time you can start a lot, you know, so I just feel like it was just a matter of time. And what did that teach you? What did you learn from seeing middle class, upper middle class? The biggest thing I learned from that was just patience. You know, um, things take time. So some things may take a year or two, some things may take a week or two. But yeah, I learned patience from that situation. And growing up, what was the biggest obstacle you faced money-wise, going in between both? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't deal with none of that. Like, I, I didn't. I was, I was one of the girls at the group that like always had the money, you know? <laughs> but that's because I was just blessed enough to have the parents who could do that for me. So I never like had days where I was just like, damn, like I ain't got it or damn, I don't wanna, like it was just never like that. So I'm blessed to be able to say that, you know? So I, I never had any problems. Did you ever seek earning money while you were young? Yeah, like when I turned 16, I was ready to go get a job. I did go get a job. I had like five jobs. Well, not at 16, but over a time spent, I had like five jobs. What did that resume look like? I worked at Boston Market, Journeys, CC's Pizza, Bath and Body Works, and uh, Agassi. And was that the actual order? That was the order, yeah. That first job you had, remind me again which one it was? Boston Market. Boston Market. How did you get introduced to that job? Um, <laughs> my daddy knew the manager. He was cool with her. They went to school together, I think. And on my birthday, he just went up there and was like, hey, you know, she's 16 now. She want to work, whatever. And they hired me. And that was my job. What was your position? I did everything. I was the cashier. Sometimes I was on drive through sometimes I was making the plates, sometimes I was cleaning the dining room. But I made a lot of tips there, and that ain't even a place you make tips at, so that says something. But, um, yeah. <laughs> what do you think you were getting the tips for? Because I was cute. Just, yeah, because I was cute. Like, they'll come to the cash register, pay for their stuff. If it was changed, they'd give me the change, and I'm not talking about no $2. You know, sometimes it'd be five. It was one guy, every time he came in there and tipped me, he would tip me more and more and more every time. And I think the most he tipped me one day was like 20. And then when I started working at Journeys, he started coming to that job, you know, because we make commission over there. He'd come and buy all my stuff or whatever. But yeah, I always, yeah, I got the tips everywhere. How did he know you went, is this something you said to him? Hey, I'm going to be at Journeys soon? Or did he just so happen to by chance see you in there and start nah, becoming nah. a customer? I told him I was leaving because he came to Boston Market like every Wednesday. And I was like, I'm getting ready to, you know, go up to Cedar Hill like five minutes from there. I'm about to go see the Hill and work at Journeys now. He was like, oh, okay, I'm going to come up there and see you. I was like, cool. Did he ever try to push 
the issue past the tips? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he was like 40, so I was just like, nah. <laughs> now, okay, did he know you were 16 at the time? He did. He did, but he was just on some shit like, I mean, you grown to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, no, sir, no, we can't. Like, you gotta be my daddy. No. So how would he actually try to push the envelope further? Would he just act, just come in and say it? Like, I'd like to take you out one time, or? He started with that, I wanna take you to my house first. And then I was like, what? And then he was like, okay, well, let me take you on a date. And I ain't gonna lie, at first I was like, all right. <laughs> but I never went, cause I was just like, oh, I'm so scared, he's 40. So I never went. <laughs> And is this something he would just do while publicly while you're at work? Or is this maybe there's phone numbers or something exchanged and he tells you this privately? Or is this nah, right like, in front of everybody? This was like in front of everybody. Well, not in front of everybody, but it would like be in the store. Like maybe we buy a pair of shoes or something and he telling me he want to take me out on a date. But that's how it would go. Did you ever end up exchanging contact information with him? Like in his number? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it never got past that. Like, I never seen him outside of my job. Did he eventually just stop coming when he got the drift that this would never go further? Actually, no, I ended up blocking his number because um, I just got tired of that. Like, it got old. I was like, okay, I'm not finna come see you. I'm not finna kick it with you. So why am I even, you know? Were, uh, did your parents even know about this? Did other pe employees know this was going on? Like, this 40-year-old was on you? Nah, I ain't telling nobody this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well you, know, now. <laughs> well, you know, maybe if somebody kept seeing the same guy over and over again, maybe a, a co-worker might question. Oh, I mean, yeah, like, my manager asked me, like, who is that? And I'm like, oh, he just come every Wednesday. He's like, oh, okay. He just another Wednesday customer. Just curious. And uh, these jobs, you mentioned five jobs. Would you ever work two jobs at a time, or it was always one after another? I know, it was one at a time. I used to quit jobs. That's why it was, like, five. <laughs> Never got fired. Did I get fired? No, I didn't get fired. I quit. What were some of the reasons? Uh, one time, Bath and Body Works wanted me to work until 2 o'clock in the morning. No, quit. Um, CC's Pizza, I loved my manager there, and he know I loved him. <laughs> but we just couldn't get along. Like, his mouth and my mouth, no, nah, it just didn't work out. So, CC's and Bath and Body Works just didn't work out. The other ones were just seasonal and I just stopped coming. Were any of the jobs you mentioned tough? No. Nah, mm -mm. It was pretty easy stuff. Were any of the jobs you mentioned dangerous? Uh-uh. Best thing about any of those jobs you mentioned? Um, Agassi, that was the last store I worked at. I was working there in 2018. Um, I became a I became an ambassador for them and then I was able to model their clothes, they would give me clothes. I mean, they shut the business down, it's no longer open. But at that time, I was able to have the opportunity to be an ambassador, so that was cool. How did that happen? That happened from the store, was it the store owner? I think it was the store owner. She came in one day, and she just liked how I was dressed. And I was really the main girl in there who would take the customers and like put the outfits together for them. Like That was my job. So she liked what I was putting together, and she just you know wanted me to be the face for that particular location because she just, you know, she liked what I had going on. On the opposite end of the spectrum, what was the worst thing about any of those jobs? Oh, being up under that hot food. It's so hot, and then my nails be long like this. That's another reason I had to quit, because they tried to tell me that, oh, you can't work in here with them long nails, and I was just like, oh, well, I'm just about to go. So S I just stopped coming. <laughs> CC's complained about your nails? Yes, that was our problem. That's what we stayed into it about. Like, And when he see this video, he gonna laugh, because he know. That's why, like, no, nah, I feel like I'm not putting my hands in a piece of so why I gotta, you know? I was gonna ask if maybe that was a health thing. No, I was the to... cashier. I'm like, no. Any crazy stories dealing with any of these jobs? Anything out of the norm, aside from the 40-year-old guy that you had mentioned earlier? Um, no. I mean, craziest thing, I wouldn't call it crazy, but when I was working at um, Agassi, I was doing music already, because that was in 2018. So people would come in there and recognize me. Like, I'm ringing their clothes up. Oh, you Eric Baines. I'm like, yeah, what's up? What else you got? <laughs> you know, but other than that, no. 
Was that flattering or embarrassing at that time? Oh, no, it was flattering. Because I was just getting started, really. So for people to recognize me and I, you know, was still kind of getting started, it was live. Ever played it off while you were working? Hey, that's Erica. Nah, it ain't me. Did I ever do that? I think I did that to somebody one time, but I was trying to be funny. Like, I was being sarcastic because you know that's me. That's why you asking me that. So I was like, I think I said, no, nah, I'm her sister or something like that. And she was like, no, you not. And we just kind of laughed about it. But that's how that went. Cece, and remind me again, because you named five jobs. Was Cece's the only food job? No, Cece's in Boston Market. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Because you worked at both of those locations, are you sick of their food? Tired of it? Oh, no. Nah. I love both of them, especially Boston Market. If you could, would you ever consider owning any of the jobs you worked at? Yes, I would love to own Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Why? First of all, uh, I wear their products like crazy. Um, I've been wearing their products since I was like this high because they sell little girl products too. And then it's just, you know, another feminine business that I'm interested in, you know, that caters to me. So that would be cool.